presented by Seat77.com. As always, Dave Dubai is coming to you live from the Super Plus Seat 77 broadcast studio in the heart of Silicon Valley. Now, Dave Dubai. North America. Thanks for tuning in to the Dave Dubois Big Show. Coming up on today's Big Show, I've got complete, and I do mean complete, in-depth, wall-to-wall coverage of the Super Bowl, which includes Bill Belichick, Matty, I got put on ice, Ryan, Roger Goodell, Mike Pence, and avocados from Mexico. All of that and more coming up for you today on Dave DeBaugh's Big Show. But this afternoon, we begin with the greatest quarterback of all time. That's right, Tommy Brady, who was, simply put, amazing in the third and fourth quarter of Super Bowl L1, (laughs) which is Super Bowl 51, for those of you that can't read Roman numerals. Absolutely unbelievable game by Tom Brady, who put the team on his shoulders and guided them back into the championship realm once again. Now, if you remember back to this game, and it's only been 48 hours since this game, but it was such an amazing comeback that it's hard to believe. The Patriots down by 25 points in the third quarter. Hey, Joe Montana, did you ever come back from 25 points down in a game, let alone a Super Bowl, to win? Then the answer is no, you didn't. The eras are different that Montana played in and that Brady played in. That's for sure. That being said, it is amazing that we are sitting here in 2017 watching in the era of free agency, watching Bill Belichick and Tom Brady win five Super Bowls together. It is absolutely unbelievable that this is happening right now as we speak. They held their uh, their big their big parade earlier in the day and so you know they're starting to talk about six. They got a whole other hand that they got to work on in terms of trying to get rings for it. Um, just absolutely unbelievable. Listen, listen, Belichick did not give up. They made excellent adjustments in the uh, in, in the third and fourth quarter, which really shut down Matt Ryan and really put him on ice. Now, Kyle Shanahan, who is the new head coach of the San Francisco 49ers, I give Kyle no more than two years especially if he calls plays like he did towards the end of the game. How can Kyle Shanahan not run the ball on third and one? Will somebody, please, when Kyle Shanahan has his press conference where he's introduced to the San Francisco 49er media, will somebody please raise their hand and ask that question? I can't wait to see what Kyle Shanahan says about that. Anyway, so just a fantastic Super Bowl all around. Loved every second of it. Um, one of my favorite things, and I talked about this at uh, on last week's show, um, was, was Roger Goodell and how he was going to handle handing the trophy off to Belichick, Robert Kraft, and Tom Brady. And I will say this about the Patriot organization. They, as well as Goodell, were all classy. It was classy across the board, and it was even classy, Cam Newton, with the post-game press conference by the losing quarterback. Hey, Cam, did you see how Matt Ryan handled it? Fantastic. Pure class from Matt Ryan and the Atlanta Falcons Something the Carolina Panthers did not display last year when they lost, especially Cam Newton, who turned into a whiny little bitch, which is what Cam Newton turned into last year at the press conference. That being said, fantastic game, awkward moment still with the trophy 
uh, being handed off, but it was fun to watch. All right, lastly today, the Super Bowl commercials. Now, we're going to cover more of the commercials over the next couple days on the Dave DeBall Big Show. I will say this. There was one commercial that I thought was excellent. Now, it was a little soft-spoken, so you actually have to listen to what they're saying. But the subliminal message from the Avocado from Mexico campaign was absolutely fantastic. The fact that they took a dig at Deflate Gate and Roger Goodell in the commercial itself. Awesome. I'm surprised more people aren't actually talking about how fantastic the Avocados from Mexico uh, commercial really was because it was North America. All right. Well, tell us what you think. i uh, love to uh, hear from you. Info at seat77.com. Once again, congrats to Tommy Brady and the New England Patriots and their fans, peer class, and how they handled the whole deflate gate situation. And Matt Ryan, please pick up the phone and shed some of your how to lose a game brilliance to Cam Newton. He needs to learn. Cam, you need to learn. All right. Uh, we are available on Facebook, Twitter, the Sound of Cloud. Spreaker, um, uh, also our big iTunes channel is blowing up. And of course, the iHeartRadio app. You can find the Dave DeBaugh Big Show in there. For the Dave DeBaugh Big Show, I am Dave DeBaugh reminding you that not everyone can be a champion, Ron Rivera. But everyone, and I do mean everyone, can act like one cam. And in this era of Donald Trump, I wish you all good luck because you're going to need it.